Hello everyone and welcome to the Michael LaRonda tag. This has been a long time in the expecting and a long time in the preparing, but not a long time in the making until now. And then my phone proceeded to fail at being a camera. Okay, take two. So I was tagged by, I think, Steve and Kyla, and hopefully that's it. If you also tagged me and I didn't just mention you, whoops, sorry, I forgot. It's been a while. But let's get right down to it. Question number one. How did you first hear about Michael Aranda? Well, huh. This question is the reason why it's taken me many weeks to get here. So I was aware of Michael since around the time I started watching Vlogbrothers, which is when I started watching YouTube at all. And it was a little bit after that because I knew I was first aware of Charlie and Alex and then through them and through Hank, I was aware of the existence of this guy, Michael. So that was probably around 2010, but then I don't really know when exactly I started watching his videos, I have gone through history trying to figure this out. I know definitely that when his second Christmas song came out, I have already been watching him. So I want to say somewhere in late 2010, 2011, that's when I first started like looking at his stuff and being like, oh, this guy that is known by people that I watch is also making videos and stuff. So that's how I got to know Michael's channel. But uh, with what I'm doing right now, I remember very distinctly randomly happening upon it one day and having completely not known about its existence until that point. Uh, this was at least two years before he started making the like actual vloggy things. Um, so it was back when he just had random videos with timestamps. And I think it was around like before the third VidCon or before the fourth VidCon. One of those, don't remember what year that was, but that's when I started following what I'm doing right now. And I loved the channel and then it became this huge thing and Oh my gosh, yeah, I, I started commenting way late, but this question has taken a while, so moving on. Next question, what is your favorite Michael Aranda video? I also went and looked through his entire channel trying to find this out, but I realized that the one that has struck me the most is actually meeting your food. In Western society, and especially in like suburban and urban areas, you don't really think about where your food comes from, and then this um, really intense experience of eating your food it just made me think a lot and gave me a lot of feelings that I didn't really know quite how to place. The video made me uncomfortable. I think it made a lot of people uncomfortable. I think that's why a lot of people don't really like it, but like I really enjoyed that very constructed discomfort type of thing. So yeah, that, that one. What is your favorite song that Michael Aranda has produced? So I am a huge fan of Christmas music. Michael, if you ever watch this, please, please, I want more of your Christmas music. I know you've been making it, you've just not been like finishing it or something. I remember in 2014 around Christmas, I think in one of your vlogs, you said that you were going to try to produce a Christmas music and then it didn't happen. And I've been waiting every Christmas. It's like, will there be more Michael Christmas music? Wow, the world just really doesn't want me to make a video today. My mom just called me and it stopped the video. But anyway, continuing on, what was I even saying? Yes, okay, the Christmas music. I own all three pieces and they are all fabulous. I can't really decide between what child is this and God rest ye merry gentlemen, but one of those two is like all-time favorite. Um, I also really like everything from Chameleon Circuit, and I obviously really enjoy the music in all of the daily vlogs, but confession, out of all of us who like are actively members of the community, I think I probably am the lowest level Patreon subscriber, so I don't actually get any of his music. Haha, <laughs> I'm not that familiar with the tracks, so that's, that's a thing. Have you ever met Michael? I have not. But I'm going to VidCon this year. That is all. <laughs> have you ever sent Michael anything in the post? I have not sent anything, but that's kind of because I have always felt like mail just disappears. 
when it's sent. I've not been really brought up in like a culture of sending mail to people. Are there any Michael influences you've noticed in your life? Uh, honestly, I've been following him for so long now that like if there were, it's probably just been absorbed through like diffusion into my being. What one question or conversation would you like to post to Michael if you ever met him in real life? I have not really thought about this question, but I feel like I am bad at meeting people and I don't really ask questions well. This is why I don't think I can be like a good interviewer. I just don't ask questions of people much. Yeah. Nope, no ideas. Gonna have a very stunning future in media. And why do you continue to watch Michael's videos, particularly his vlogs? So his main channel videos have always been like these artistic things that I really like. As the vlogs have developed, it's become almost like the same level of artsiness. I'm thinking particularly about the, was it the, the city council meeting from um, a few weeks back? That was just so cool. But yeah, like just that kind of, like storytelling. It's just so good. I remember when Michael was transitioning from just doing completely unedited clips into the vlogs and like that was so exciting. Like one day suddenly it was like there was editing involved in this clip and then it just kind of snowballed from there and it's just really nice to see that kind of thing happened. I think a lot of what I like about following him is you see through his life that people's lives can be super interesting on a daily basis and then it's like you kind of realize that your life can also be that interesting and I feel like I also noticed when I do my own vlogs that I become more interested in my own life and my own experiences when I do them. So I think that's part of why we watch vloggers. Like everyone has something to say and everyone has like an experience that is their own and to be able to see someone else's experience is like this hugely intriguing thing. And especially if they can like make it art and have it be very art, then I'm just like, yes, please more forever. And another part of it is like, when you follow someone for so long, it feels like you know them, it feels like you're friends, and you just want to know what's up with their life. Like, I have friends in real life that don't do anything on the internet, who I haven't talked to in a really long time, and I just don't know anything about what's going on with them, and it's just like, there is so much disconnect here, so if there is any kind of connection that I can make with people, then I want to be able to make it and through the internet, through YouTube, is like one of the big things that can allow me to do this. Yeah, so that's why. This was a really fun tag. Thank you to everyone who tagged me. Thank you for Nyla for making the tag. And thank you to everyone who has been waiting for me to make this tag. I'm sorry you've waited for so long. I feel like everyone I know has done the tag already. So if you're watching this and you haven't done this tag before and you are a Michael Aranda fan slash follower slash friend person community around or not, then please do this tag and we can spread our love for Michael throughout the land. There's a bunch of stuff going on in my life recently in the past now-ish, so things are coming up and you'll see me soon and stuff and I have never actually had a end thing, so goodbye!